We have reached the end of season one with PSV in the FM23 beta, and in what could be my final game in charge of the club, we have to win and hope Feyenoord do not win in order to qualify for the Champions League for next season, or at least a qualifying round for the Champions League. If Feyenoord win, then the best we can do is the Europa League. So, it's a pretty tense situation. Hello everyone, welcome to the final day of the season in my FM23 beta save with PSV and what could be my final game in charge of the club. Firstly, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a second season of PSV on the beta yet because the full game is rapidly approaching and I don't know if I'm going to have the time to complete a second season. And also, I might be out of a job after this game. It was required in the club vision for both the board and the supporters that I qualify for the Champions League. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because we currently sit third. Only the top two make it through to the Champions League. Ajax have already won the league. They go straight through to the Champions League group stages. Second place is the only other way into the Champions League, and that will get you into the qualifying rounds for the Champions League. Feyenoord sit there. We're level on points, but they have an eight-goal advantage in goal difference over us. So the only way we qualify for the Champions League is if we beat AZ and Feyenoord foul to win. If we both win... We need to win by nine more goals, or, yeah, nine more goals than what they win by. And I can't see that happening, to be honest. Um, it's a tough ask. We're a good side, but I can't see us scoring eight more or nine more goals than what Feyenoord do if we both go on to win. Um, but hopefully winning the Dutch Cup and doing well and being competitive in the league will be enough to keep my job and save us ending this series with the sack. But... Without further ado, let's go and play a game of football, shall we? Right, I'm setting us up to score goals. I'm going very attacking from the off, and I'm hoping to get as many goals as we possibly can and win by an absolute bucket load. The team that I'm hoping does that is Benitez in goal, Moene, Vezo, Obispo, Bascagli, Gutierrez, Simons, Till, Medueka, Gakpo and De Jong. Joey Veerman is injured and misses the end of the season. Philip Max is just back from injury and may get a little bit of an appearance off the bench. Here we go. We have to win. Let's put the latest scores on to see how fire and order getting on. And yeah, we have to win. Here we go. First attack of the game. Well, first highlight of the game. Madwaker running down the right. Can he get a cross in? He does. Gus Till has his shot saved. And that could have been 1-0, but it's not. <laughs> Gakpo. Swings in the corner. It's headed clear. Buscagli. Can he keep the attack alive? He can't. Feyenoord is still nil-nil in Sparta Rotterdam. So as it stands, if we can win, and that stays the same, we'll be all right. Buscagli. It's cleared again, and they're going to look to hit us on the counter, I think. That looked to be offside, but... There's no flag, and Buscagli's one back possession anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Gakpo finds Simons. Simons goes out to Moena, plays a nice little pass to find Madweka, and he loses possession. Gutierrez gives it back to Moena. He finds Madwaker again, who this time finds Gakpo, and there is the first goal of the game. Just under 25 minutes on the clock, and Cody Gakpo, just back from an injury actually, has fired us 1-0 up. And Feyenoord is still 0-0, so we will be jumping above them into second as it stands. Wayne are over the top. The defender looks to deal with it, but he doesn't. Gives it back to Madwaka, and he finds Gakpo, and that's 2-0. Gakpo, two goals in 10 minutes. And this very attacking mentality seems to be working. It was a defensive error from Decker. All he had to do was whack it away, but he didn't. He turned back on himself, gave it to Madwaka, and Madwaka... Easy little pass to Gakpo, and Gakpo couldn't miss, really. It's Gakpo again, over to Simons, but the ball's cleared out. Till, De Jong, Simons. Madwaker has burst through the defence, and there's 3-0. 
Nani Madweka has put us 3-0 up on the stroke of half time. And maybe we might win by nine goals. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Simon's his vision, Madweka's run. Nice little dink over the keeper, and that's 3-0. And if we played like this in every game, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're currently in. But as we go into the break, we are 3-0 up. Feyenoord, I believe, is still 0-0. And we currently occupy second place and the Champions League qualifying spot. Let's hope we can stay there. Second half underway. Gakpo. Gutierrez. Back to Gakpo. Finds Madweka, De Jong's about 17 miles offside. So that's not going to stand. <laughs> Feyenoord still nil-nil in Sparta Rotterdam. Feyenoord have just taken the lead. So no matter what we do, Feyenoord are winning. Gakpo, his corner is caught by the goalkeeper. And... We've dropped down to third place anyway. Feyenoord, Santiago Jimenez has put them 1-0 up. Usama Adrisi has put them 2-0 up now. So, yeah, we now need to score seven goals because they're 2-0 up. Simons, Madweka. There's one of them. Not only Madweka scores his second of the game. We're 4-0 up, but we need to win this game by... 10 goal. I think we need to win 10 nil because it's got to be eight more than fine odd. Here's Gakpo with another corner. It's cleared. And AZ will look to hit us on the break. Mihailovic is running with it. Nobody's going in for a tackle, but Boscagli does pick up possession. He gets the interception, but gives it straight away again. And now Mihailovic is going to get a second chance at it, plays it through. Jens Odgaard has scored for AZ. It's 4-1. We now need to score seven goals in less than 14 minutes. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, it's all gone tits up. It was that defeat against Emmen um, immediately after the cup final, which has come back to haunt us because Feyenoord have been unbeaten for a long time and unfortunately we're only going to finish third place Benitez saves prevents him scoring a second but the solid performance on the last day of the season here has been good we went four wins in on the spin leading into this game. So we've ended the season with five wins on the bounce, but it was the silly defeats against teams near the bottom of the table that have come back to haunt us, really. And that's the season over and done with. Two goals from Cody Gakpo and two from Nani Madweka give us a 4-1 victory on the final day of the season over AZ. But, as you can see, confirmation final with a 2-0 win against Sparta Rotterdam finish above us in the league, which means we fail to qualify for the Champions League. I'm sure that winning the Dutch Cup, getting into the Europa League, finishing third in the league is enough for the board to be OK. Let's give him another season. Morale's high at the club. The supporters have got to be kind of happy. We won a cup. So I shouldn't imagine I'm going to get the sack, but there is the possibility. Right, I'm not sure why, but it said that we passed and that we I completed the task of qualifying for the Champions League within the stated time frame. So I think getting through the qualifying rounds into this season's Champions League has made, made me pass the qualifying for the Champions League bit. So the board are pleased, the supporters are pleased, I'm fairly pleased. I would have liked to have won the league in my first season, but... Yeah, we were quite a way off of Ajax, to be honest. Um, but here we go. Our first season, possibly our only season, the end of season review. We finished third in the league. We won the Dutch Cup. New arrivals, Luke de Jong. 
Scored 23 goals, 9 assists, 44 starts, 5 sub-appearances. Coming in for 3.4 mil from Seville before I got here. Been a great signing. But our start signing of the season is a signing that I made. 20-year-old wonder kid, Datro Fafana. We brought him in from Mulder for 6.25 million. Scored 10 goals, 4 assists in 37 appearances at a 7.09. Ruben Vazo, who came in for 11.75 million from Levante. Also got over a 7 rating. All of the others didn't do very well. Xavi Simons, Xavi Simons even, only a 6.94. Still a decent enough performance. The ball are delighted with a deal to sign that trophy for Farnham, mainly due to getting the player to agree to a lower wage than we would have expected to pay someone of his ability. And he's done pretty well. Season's results. The ball are pleased that the team qualified for the UEFA Europa League through their participation in the Eredivisie this season. We didn't actually qualify for the Europa League through the league. We qualified for the Europa League through the fact that we won the Dutch Cup. So that's a C-plus from the board. The B-plus for the Champions League because we reached the group stage. A B-minus for the Europa League that we got to the round of 16. A B-plus that we won the Dutch Cup. And a C-plus that, well, we, lo we, we come second out of two teams in the Super Cup. Moments to remember. Our biggest win was a 4-0 win against Vitesse. Back in, it was in a Dutch Cup in February. A match to remember was our 2 0 win against Dinamo in the Europa League. And the goal of the season was scored by De Jong in the other leg of that tie against Dinamo. The finances, there's none of that's going to matter because we weren't here last season. Our reputation hasn't changed. We sold 19,660 shirts. 3.28 million of total merchandise sales. Gakpo, De Jong, Madweka, Veerman and Simons are the most popular players. Our best 11 is pretty much what I played for most of the season. To be, to be expected, really. And looking at that, I think the only position we really lacked in was right back. Moina was a decent enough player at 6.79. But... If I do stay for a second season, or if I do come back to this, I would probably look at strengthening on the right, and maybe the defensive midfield. Sangara 6.9, he's done alright, but I think we could possibly improve there still. The accolades. I didn't get any awards. I didn't win a manager of the month, and I didn't get anything else. But the fans player of the season is Luke De Jong. I'm not, I've said Luke De Jong the whole way through this series. I'm not actually sure if you pronounce the J or not. Uh, young player of the season was Nani Madweka. That trophy for Fana was a sign of the season, as we already know. We already know De Jong got the goal of the season and was top scorer. Most assists was Nani Madweka, considering he missed the first few months of the season and he didn't come back into the team until after the winter break, after the World Cup. He's done quite well. Nine man in a match awards for Luke De Jong. Highest average rating. And Armando Obispo got the most passes completed per 90 minutes. Record breakers, most assists by a player in a season, Nani Madweka, most man in the match awards for Luke De Jong, and Sangara for the worst discipline, got eight yellow cards and a red. History in the making was our Dutch Cup victory where the boring finished where many had expected them to, spending time at the top of the table and deviating a little from a course to help them achieve what they'd set out for at the start of the campaign. Doesn't really make any sense because it's got nothing to do with sitting at the top of the table because it was a cup win. And the new dynamic manager timeline so starting off here we work on a board we suffered a humiliating five under feet thanks for that um, we invested in potential because we spent three million on that road for farner what do we do we press that do we yeah there you go it moves along we signed maximo peroni who's a future star suffered a humiliating defeat there that ended our title chances Xavi simmons made the next gen list we won the cup and we have agreed to sign Pablo Neris from River Plate on a free transfer who looks like he could be one for the future. So that is the end of season review. That is looking at the dynamic manager timeline. And that is going to wrap up our season and possibly the series. Um, I'll make a decision about it in uh, the next day, or well, the next couple of hours really, because... There's only a, there's a matter of days now until the full game releases. So 
I'm probably not going to do a second season. And if I do, I'm probably going to play it off camera and just come back and let you know how we got on, who we signed, where we finished in the league, how we got on in Europe, etc., etc. So it won't be one of those ones where I come back every few months to show you a couple of games here and there. It will probably be two episodes for the season, one at the midpoint, one at the end of the season. And for anyone wondering, I know that it's probably going to be different in every every other person's save, but Holland won the World Cup in this world. So I don't know if it's because I'm playing in Holland or not, but Holland won the World Cup. I said before the season review that it come up and that the board were happy, but now it's just come up that the board and the supporters are very disappointed with the club vision progress. So there could be a, a possibility that I still lose my job. The supporter profile, I um, just wanted to show this little bit. It's gone up 32 to 32% of core supporters. Fair weather supporters are down to only 20%. Our social media following is down. We've lost 472,500 followers on social media, which ain't good, is it? But yeah, the board, very disappointed with the failure to achieve the objective laid out in the club's vision to qualify for the Champions League. Supporters, exactly the same because it was a requirement. So... Yeah, so they're not happy. I've got another club vision and expectations meeting. But there isn't anything about getting the sack. So I think I should be all right. That's going to wrap up this episode and possibly this series. I may do a second season off camera and come back and film it in two parts. So midway point of the season and the end of the season review to let you know how we got on in the league, the signings we made, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, we've it, it, a bit of a dampener at the end. We've Failed to qualify for the Champions League. The ball are pissed off and the supporters are pissed off now. So it means that even if I do keep my job into next season, which looks like it's going to be possible because they don't want to have a chat or anything about it at the minute, the pressure's going to be on straight from the off. So, yeah, it might not go well anyway, even if I did do a second season. But I want to thank you all for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you would like to, Hit the subscription button below. Hit the notification bell to know when future videos are released. Like this video to let me know that you enjoyed it. And comment to say hi. Let me know how you got on in the beta save. What you're looking forward to doing in the full game release when it comes out. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you again for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye for now.